Okay, so here is my little teaching aid to illustrate both the set operations and the probability notion. On the left here, I have the list of questions that I ask my students. And this is my universe. It's a square. And the, uh, I'm assuming that I'm shooting at the square and the bullet cannot hit points outside the square. Okay, the our cat wants to intervene. So, on the square we can see two uh, circles. One is red, the other is blue. Okay? And what some students cannot imagine is that there is an intersection here, illustrated by this. And they confuse the area with the sets. And uh, you have to go one by one through all these properties in order to explain and for them to understand. For example, the first statement, the bullet hit the universe. And this is a good opportunity to repeat what is the universe and the one of the main postulates of the theory of probabilities that the probability of the sample space or of the, of the universe should be equal to one. The bullet hit the universe, this is the right here as S, and the probability of the universe is equal to 1. The bullet didn't hit the universe, and which means that in terms of this universe, it, uh, the event that the bullet hit some point outside the square is impossible. This is an empty set, and the, its probability is equal to 0. The bullet hit the red circle. This is obvious, it hits this part. Uh, which I denote A, its probability is A, and there is nothing else to say about it. The bullet didn't hit the red circle. It means it hit any point outside this red circle, which is S minus A. It's the complement of A. And the probability of A is equal to the area of the square minus the area of the circle. It means this. The bullet hit both the red and blue circles. So this is the point where people confuse the intersection with the union sign. If we say it hit both, it means it hits this part, both red and blue circles. And uh, some people that saw the multiplicativity rule write that probability of the intersection is equal to the product of two probabilities, probability of A, probability of B, which is wrong. This is not always true. This is true only when A and B are independent. The bullet hit A or B. This is a non-exclusive A. So uh, it is possible that the bullet hits this part or this part or the common part, this part. And this is uh, the union of two sets. And then how do we find the area? Area, in our case, is probability. We add all of this, okay? Then we add all of this, I mean the blue part. And we notice that the common part, this part, has been added twice. So in order to obtain the true area, we need to subtract one of them, okay? So it will be probability of A plus probability of B less probability of the intersection. So, uh, the main point of this exercise is to make visual all those operations that we do, one, and uh, people need to see the difference between sets and their probabilities. Often they confuse in the same formula they write the set operations and arithmetic operations, which is wrong and uh, they need to see all this in one place. If they see like in, uh, in one class one property, in the other class another property, then they don't correlate one with another and all kinds of problems arise from there. Okay, thank you for this. Bye.